Hey, how's it going? Good. Sorry, it took me a little fumble there to get on. Ah, that's quite all right. Technology is always a little finicky. Oh, isn't it? It's that's fun. true. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a little bit of an introduction for you, and then I'll let you take it away. Sounds great. All righty. Right. Well, hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us today. I am Kaya Butcher, the Community Engagement and Events Coordinator with the Boulder Museum of Contemporary Art. So again, I wanted to thank you all so much for joining us today. We are with artist Kathleen Spencer Johns. Johns is an award-winning painter. Born in Schenectady, New York, the fourth of 10 children, her stories of childhood are both humorous and emotional. Kathleen has two wonderful sons, Curtis and Kevin Johns. As well, she is a highly qualified and dynamic fine arts teacher who has adapted her teaching for these virtual times. Kathleen lives and creates art in Boulder, and you may just stumble upon her in the foothills as she sits joyously painting or spy her in the art garage as she turns to the press arm creating prints. And as well, I wanted to write or read over a little bit of her artist statement. So discovering the spirit of life, letting it, letting it speak to the depth of my soul and then sharing this with others through my art is why I paint. It is a vehicle for appreciating humanity and nature more intimately and a way to share this richness with, other, with others. To see in what you have created, the object, yourself, and something in the mystery of life is deeply fulfilling. There is so much that can be expressed through the art of creation, so many intimate connections to be felt and shared. In paint, I try to express the intensity of life as I see it and feel it while searching for what makes art move viewers to a more powerful relationship to life. There is no end to the emotional encounters and the visual images in one's life. Each image that I create, each emotion that I express, and each painting that I complete stimulates me to create again. So feel free to ask any questions throughout the entire tour and we can address those a little bit closer to the end. And so without any further ado, Kathleen, I'll let you take it away. Well, thank you, Caius, uh, and thank you so much for having me on this. And of course. everyone who's tuning in, really appreciate it. Um, so we yeah. are now in the art garage, and this is normally where I do my teaching and my printmaking. But with COVID, it's mm -hmm. a little different. So now my teaching is here. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, we're all familiar with that. <laughs> yeah, and here's where I make my little video. Oh, that's great. So and you then, totally adapted to the virtual world. Yeah, and then here on, on this part, I have my uh, print press, and this is where I normally do my prints, so solar plates mm -hmm. and um, block prints and whatnot, so that's there. And great. then I also, I was... Um, Excited to also turn the garage into a gallery so I could um, host shows. And what you're looking at right now would be um, some of my paintings from Michigan. And that's a whole series I've done mm -hmm. based off the wonderful Lake Michigan. So it's been really fun. Ah, so such a beautiful multi-use space then. Yeah. And that's not even my studio. So <laughs> let's... Let's go down to my studio. Let's check it out. I'd love to see it. So that's, down here's where I do most of my work. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna come down. And here we are. I will flip you. All right. So here's my studio. Oh, wow. And it's a big space. And the way I, I work is I have to have like multiple, um, I have to have multiple images kind of going at once because if I get stuck on one, I want to be able to then s switch to another. And since I paint in oil and watercolor acrylic and do all that, I, I like to have multiple medias going at once mm -hmm. so that sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning up my oil paint so I don't pull that out and I go to my watercolor, <laughs> which is no cleanup, you know. Right. Well, I was going to say you work in many different mediums. You'd mentioned acrylic, watercolor, and oil. So talk about your practice a little bit using these different paints and how do they affect some of the work that you do? Well, I'm glad you asked that because I think when you work with different media, you have a, a wider range of expression mm -hmm. so that you can look at uh, an image that you want to be putting down on paper or canvas 
and you can ask which media would speak best to this as well as what's you know what approach and style because I have a wide variety in those areas um, here over here it's let me switch that yeah over here is samples of um, a, an older woman Ruth that I painted for over 15 years just her so oh, I have wow. 60 images of her. So one of my processes is doing um, what series work. Mm -hmm. So I, I might do um, uh, over and over and over again, the same type of image. So I do that a lot. And then as I'm doing that, I can, I feel like I can dive more deeply into the subject matter. So uh, painting Ruth was really an incredible experience of sharing because as an elder woman, she had such wisdom and such um, beauty that I felt like I could express more in her one face and paint her for, for forever and still not express all of life. So that was um, quite a journey there. So in repetition, you're almost finding new and revelatory things within your work. So by repeating, you're discovering and recreating and recreating. So the work stays fresh. Yeah, it's, it's always a deeper discovery. That's what I love. And you can do um, the same, like I did Ruth over and over again with multiple medias to try to express the differences and sizes, some of them are teeny and some of them like, I think are like five by five or something. So they go in, in, a, in a nice realm there. So. Yeah. so I guess the question is, who is Ruth? Ruth, Ruth is this wonderful woman I met. I was out for a jog, you know, and it was a winter day and it had, we had a dumping of snow and I'm trying to get exercise. And I go right past this woman who's shoveling and I could tell she was elderly and she's out there shoveling and I'm like, oh, I can't run past her to get exercise. <laughs> so I turned around and I asked her if she had another shovel and if she wouldn't mind if I helped. And that was the beginning of an incredible friendship. So then I would go visit Ruth and shovel every time it snowed. And I've, you know, I didn't yet visit her. I just, if she was out shoveling, I'd join her. And then when spring came, I found her in her garden and we'd chit chat a little bit. Yes. And then I found out that her husband was inside dying of cancer. Oh no. So then I started visiting, you know, knocking on the door and making kind of formal visits, so to speak. And then after Ralph, her husband passed away, I was like thinking of my poor grandma and when my grandpa passed away and how utterly sad and lonely she was. So I asked Ruth um, because I wanted to kind of maybe help her with that, but I needed help too. I needed a model. I wanted to work from life and models can be really so expensive. So I asked her if she wouldn't mind sitting for me. And I don't like painting people and they're just models, you know, and they're stiff and you can't have conversation yeah. so I taught her how to find her pose remember it move around and get back so we could have intense long beautiful conversations and you know history of all boulder everything you know oh and so if i was painting or drawing something let's let me switch to here mm -hmm. and so as i'm drawing her this took weeks and weeks of visiting every mm -hmm. And so as I'm drawing her, she's telling me stories and all of a sudden you might see like a twinkle in her eye and all of a sudden you just have to find those wrinkles in, in ways to produce that. But if I worked um, exclusively from photograph, mm -hmm. I would have seen all that um, uh, parts of Ruth. So um, so anyway, I painted her till she passed away at a hundred. A hundred. And that led me into another series over here.